Hello everyone. In this video, we will look into the transformation questions from the 2023 question papers. The first question is from the question paper 12 FM 23. A function f is defined by f of x equal to x square minus 2x plus 5. A sequence of transformation is applied in the following order to the graph of y is equal to f of x to give the graph of y is equal to g of x. Stretch parallel to the x-axis with scale factor 1 over 2. Reflection in the y-axis. Stretch parallel to the y-axis with scale factor 3. Find g of x giving your answer in the form ax square plus bx plus c where a, b and c are constants. So first it's given stretch parallel to the x axis with scale factor 1 over 2. Okay. Before that let us write the function f of x in a complete completing square format. x square minus 2x plus 5 can be written as plus 1 plus 4. So this can be written as x minus 1 the whole square plus 4. Okay. So first uh, stretch parallel to the x axis with scale factor 1 over 2. That means x will be replaced by 2x. So you will get 2x minus 1 the whole square plus 4. The next transformation is a reflection in the y-axis. Reflection in the y-axis means x is replaced by negative x. So you will get negative 2x minus 1 the whole square plus 4. So the third transformation is stretch parallel to the y-axis with a scale factor 3. That means the whole thing will be multiplied by 3. So multiplied by 3. So 3 multiplied by minus 2x minus 1 the whole square plus 4. And this is our g of x. So this can be written as 4x 4x square 4x plus 1 plus 4 12x square plus 12x 4 plus 1 is 5 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 so this is our g of x The next question is from the question paper 11MJ23. The diagram shows graphs with equation y is equal to f of x and y is equal to g of x. Describe fully a sequence of two transformation which transfers the graph y is equal to f of x to y equal to g of x. So from f of x to g of x. So by looking at the picture, by looking at the graph, we can see there is a change in the shape. So there will be definitely a stretching. So let us see the length of this line. This is of two units. Whereas here it is of one, two, three, four. And here it is. 1, 2, 3, 4 and here 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सो टू बिकेम फोर एंड फोर बिकेम एट so it got stretched along the y direction and the stretching factor is 2 and if you see there is no stretching along the x direction see this is 1 and 2 unit and here also it is 1 and 2 two units so from here 1 and 2 and from here also 1 and 2 and this line is also 1 and 2 and here is also 1 and 2 so no stretching along the x direction only the stretching is along the y direction so the, the first transformation is stretched along y direction with a stretching factor 2 so this point is Negative one comma negative three. So we have to apply the stretching factor only for the y-axis. So you will get negative one comma negative six. So this point and this is one comma negative one. So negative one multiplied by two. You will get one comma negative two. And this point is three comma three. It will become three comma six. And this is five comma three. This will become five comma six. So you'll get a new. After applying the transformation, you'll get a curve like this. Sorry, you'll get a graph like this. Okay. now we can see it is a simple translation along the x direction towards the left side from here to 1 2 3 4 5 6 so translation along the x axis towards the left side by 6 units so translation along x direction translation vector is negative 6 0 because the translation is towards the left side we are putting a negative sign here the next question is from the question paper 12 mj 23 describe fully a sequence of three transformations which can be combined to transform the graph y is equal to sin x to the graph of y is equal to f of x making clear the order in which the transformations are applied the given graph as a function g of x equal to 3 plus 2 sin 1 over 4 x
and y is given as sin x. Or we can write f of x as sin x. So now we have to write the uh, sequence of three transformation which can be combined to transform sin x into 3 plus 2 sin 1 over 4 multiplied by x. So here we can see 3 is a translation and 2 is a stretching and 1 over 4 is a another stretching. Okay. First we have to apply the stretching 1 over 4 that is stretching factor of 4 along the x direction. Then we have to apply the stretching with the stretching factor 2 along the y direction. Then this 3 indicates a translation along the y direction. So the translation vector will be 0, 3. So first from this direction we will start. First is the transformation is the stretching. Stretched in the x direction with stretching factor 4. Next this 2 is again a stretching along the y direction with the stretching factor 2. Then the third transformation is the translation translation in y direction with translation vector 0, 3. The next question is from the question paper 13 MJ 23. The diagram shows the graph of y is equal to f of x which consists of two straight lines AB and BC. The lines A dash B dash and B dash C dash form the graph of y is equal to g of x which is the result of applying a sequence of two transformations in either order to y is equal to f of x. State fully the two transformations. So this is f of x and this is g of x. f of x becomes g of x. Okay. So first to find out what is the length of AB. Here we can see the length of AB is 2 units. And here also, also 2 unit. There is a change in the shape of the graph f of x g of x but uh, the length a b and uh, a dash b dash both are same so there is no stretching along the y direction and uh, b c also the length is 2 but here you can see it is 4 unit But there is no change in the height. So from here to here. So this is 1 and this is also 1. And this is 2 and this is also 2. So no stretching along the y direction 
whereas along the x direction you can see this is 1 whereas this is 2 and b to c here 2 here it is 4 so there is a stretching along the x direction So there is a two transformation, but it can be in any order. So we'll write the first transformation as a stretching along the x direction with the stretching factor. So the point is one comma three and B is two comma five and C is four comma four. So after applying the transformation that is the stretching along the x direction with a stretching factor 2 1 comma 3 will become 2 comma 3 so it will come here b will come 2 comma 5 will become 4 comma 5 here and c is 4 comma 4 it will become 8 comma 4 So here, after applying a stretching, the graph will become like this. Okay. Now from this, we can see this point is moved downwards, shifted down by two steps. So there is a translation along the y direction because it is moving down we have to put a negative sign so the translation is in y direction with the translation vector 0 negative 2 